Welcome to today's installment of New to the Street featuring Neonc, a revolutionary new biotech company that has some amazing solutions that cross the blood-brain barrier for the treatment of brain cancers and many other oncological issues. And joining us today to explore the revolutionary new treatments and the investing story for investors is the chairman and president of Neonc, Amir Atampour. How are you today, Amir? Very good. Thank you for having me here. So for our listeners or audience who want to learn more about Neonc, your storyline, the trajectory that has brought you to where you are today. Tell us a little bit about it. Neonc was founded uh, some time ago by a neurosurgeon, Dr. Thomas Chen. He's um, a neurosurgeon at USC Keck Medical School. He's also the professor of neurosurgery and he has a PhD. I was introduced to Dr. Chen about uh, three, three and a half years ago through an investment banking firm. Uh, I was introduced to them. I, I liked what he had to say. I liked him as a person. So I ended up uh, partnering up with him and acquiring the company and restructuring it and um, taking it public on March 26th of this year here on NASDAQ. So you're listed on the NASDAQ now, now also in the Russell 2000. Tell us what this has meant for your company and your ability to expand. Yeah, we got listed March 26th on Liberation Day, shortly after disclosure of Liberation Day. And, uh, uh, you know, we're a clinical stage biotech company. We, we uh, for a company of our size, uh, we have a large mission in our hand, uh, brain cancer. It's an unmet need that hasn't, the needle hasn't moved very much, unfortunately. Mm, we have four clinical trials, two in phase two, two in phase one. We um, have about uh, 10 sites across U.S. And we're expanding our footprints through uh, Middle East and uh, soon to be India. Um, being put into the Russell also opens up uh, um, our equity to institutional investors, more visibility. And so we're executing, we're implementing, executing, and trying to build a real solid business. And hopefully, uh, when it comes to the market, really change the standard of care. Uh, we think it'll probably be our first drug will come into the market in two to three years. It's doing very well in phase two studies. And um, we're uh, the team's executing and uh, we're focused on uh, getting through our trials. So one of the brain cancer technologies in particular, one of the treatments that you're working on crosses the blood-brain barrier. It's a revolutionary treatment that's also organic, can be delivered through the nose. Tell us about this treatment, why it's so important. So we're the first um, brain cancer company to deliver uh, our uh, drug via intranasal delivery through the, uh, you put a device over your nose and you inhale it. Uh, you do it at the comfort of your home. Uh, it's non-invasive. We have 179 patents worldwide, um, and uh, the, no the delivery method is novel. Um, it bypasses the blood-brain barrier, like you indicated. It passes the cranial nerves through your sinuses, and it's uh, doing very well in trials. Uh, we had announced that we will be fully enrolled by uh, September for NEO 100-01, our lead asset, phase two drug. That's going to take place in September, and our NEO 100-212 um, will be fully enrolled as well, and we'll have a readout here very shortly. Now, you have strong partnerships with research institutions, uh, universities, et cetera. Tell us about those partnerships and how they're helping support the work you do at NEOC. So we're currently in about uh, 10 hospitals across the U.S., um, USC, of course, Cleveland Clinic, and major university hospitals. Um, that footprint is expanding to about 50 hospitals, um, 30 in India, another 10 in Middle East. Um, and that should really enhance our trial protocol, our enrollment protocol. Uh, we're partnered uh, with USC, of course. That gives us so much resources, so much human capital. If a company of our size didn't have that partnership, uh, we, you know, we're very cash efficient. We've gone through about 50 million to get to where we are. Uh, they will be out about 200 million because of the human resources that we have. Our labs are there uh, at USC. We have four labs at USC. 
We just uh, acquired another asset around 3D printing and artificial intelligence and quantum modeling. Uh, um, I acquired that asset by um, the gentleman that overlooks the Office of Innovation and Research, Dr. Ishwar Puri at USC, and he joined our board uh, just last week. We closed that, um, that acquisition. So, um, you know, we're, I think we're batting above our weight. Uh, we're executing, um, I've uh, built many other successful businesses, and this one is uh, near and dear to my heart. Um, I usually don't run these biotech assets I have invested in taken public. This one I'm running myself as the executive chairman and president. It sounds like you're very passionate about it, and you know our audience is largely comprised of investors interested in investing in early stage companies like your own. Give us the, the elevator speech for investors. Why should investors be interested in Neonc at this juncture? You, we, you know, we weren't put into the Russell Index by accident. Yeah. There's a reason we got into the Russell. We're executing. Um, if you look at my mm, historical track record, I have a very good track record. The management, we have a strong management. That management's gonna get, only get better and better over time. And uh, we're, uh, our stock has pulled back significantly. I think we're way undervalued. We just uh, announced we met all the contingencies with the Middle East partnership with Quasar Investments. That's a $50 million partnership um, for Middle East, for GCC, that they're buying Neonc stock at $25. Uh, there's a reason I structured that deal at $25. I, I want to structure our capital formation very smartly that's as least dilutive as possible. And that's the key for biotech companies, especially uh, our size of companies, because by the time you get a drug to the market, you've ended up diluting all the shareholders so significantly. So our mission, my mission is to really focus on uh, smart capital. Amir, as you look forward three, five years from now, where do you aspire for Neon to be? What will be out in the marketplace? What will the company's offerings look like then? Three to five years, uh, we'll have a drug in the market. Uh, I believe we will have the standard of care drug for all brain cancer. Um, we took uh, TMZ, temozolomide, which was a Merck drug that had went off patent. We bioconjugated it with our delivery mechanism. That drug should read out in the next 30 days. For the phase one readout should be disclosed here very shortly. Um, you and that, that drug is the current standard of care drug, bioconjugated with NEO 100. That drug will be approved. Our NEO 100 will be approved. So we'll, we'll, we'll have uh, several drugs in the market, FDA approved, and we will be impacting the standard of care where there's been an enormous unmet need for people that are suffering with uh, brain cancer. That's my mission. That's our management's mission to really impact standard of care and change the current current protocol around brain cancer. Amir, we wish you the very best in that mission. The whole world is watching, of course, something that can transform millions and millions of lives and the well-being of so many human beings and investors as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank for, you for this time. interview. Thank you for joining us on this installment of New to the Street as we explore Neonc's transformational story, the promise it holds for many cancers and especially brain cancers. And Amit Matempour has been here sharing his story, sharing the story of Neonc, and we hope you'll follow along. Stay tuned to New to the Street for more transformational and innovative business stories like these. I'm Janet Alvarez from the market site at the NASDAQ, logging off.